everyone. Welcome. My name is Deborah, and this is Yoga for Runners with Rituals. And this practice is really designed to create mobility, elasticity, and length through the parts of the body that are most affected by running. So get your mat. Let's practice. We're gonna start this practice in a kneeling posture. So if your knees are really tight or injured, feel free to put a cushion or a couple of cushions kind of between your heels and your bum to sit back on. Otherwise, just kind of allow yourself to sit back onto your heels for a moment and just let the shoulders kind of melt down, lift the chest. And in this position, you're going to turn your feet under and you're gonna allow yourself to sit back onto your heels. So you'll feel a really nice yummy stretch through the soles of the feet. After a few breaths here, the soles of the feet might be screaming at you a little bit. Just breathe. In yoga, we really want to connect the intention of the breath to whatever stretch or movement that we're doing. So as you start to feel tightness or tension through your feet, you just allow the breath to move into the areas where you feel tension and create a little bit more space from kind of deep within your body. So never pushing into a stretch, taking our time. So find your breath here. We're gonna stay connected to our breath as we move through each posture, okay? And then slowly coming onto hands and knees, you're going to extend your left leg nice and straight and push in to your left heel. So you're actively pushing back towards the back of your mat. You'll feel the stretch along the calf muscle, the shins, and breathe a few breaths here. Again, not pushing too deep into the stretch. Finding that stretch where any more is too much and any less is not enough. One more breath. Good, and then switch sides. So you're gonna take this right leg back behind you. You're gonna push the weight into the back of the right heel. Again, lengthening along the whole back line of your right leg. And again, never pushing to a place in a stretch where you start to shut down. Keep the body and the breath nice and open. Find a stretch through the calf. Good, and then coming back to hands and knees position, you're gonna take your right foot and you're gonna step it forward, really making sure that your knee is not in front of your ankle. You want that knee directly above the ankle. You're gonna let this left hip sink as far down as you can, and you're gonna lift up. Bring your hands to your front knee. And again, just let the hips be nice and heavy. Let the heart lift. This is so good for the hip flexors, which get really, really tight and constricted with running. Also from sitting a lot of the day. But take a few breaths, allowing this nice long, long stretch here. Good, and then you're gonna bring your hands to either side of the foot. You're gonna wiggle this right foot forward and you're gonna slowly straighten the leg. Now you might only get to here and that's fine. As long as you feel a stretch through the hamstring, you're doing it right. So again, if you can get the leg nice and straight, go ahead and flex your feet and don't push into the stretch. Try to extend nice and long, creating length into the back of the leg. Good, and we're gonna go back and forth a few breaths here. So you're gonna inhale, come forward into a low lunge. And you're going to exhale, straighten as much as you can. Good. Two more times. Just inhale slowly, moving really intentionally with your breath. Exhaling, straighten. Again, inhaling here. And exhaling, straighten the leg. Maybe you take the stretch a little bit 
more deeply as the body opens. Again, anytime you feel yourself tense, try to back out of the posture a little bit and move into it more gently. Good, and then coming back to your low lunge on the side, bring your hands to the inside of your foot and take the stretch a little bit deeper. Now, if this feels good, you can hold here. If you want a little bit more into your right hip, you just allow this right knee to come out to the side. So you're on the razor edge of the outside of your right foot. And breathe. Good, coming back all the way up and step this foot back and step the left foot forward. And again, finding your low lunge first, hands here at your knee. And kind of let the shoulders melt down. Lift your heart and really let the hips be nice and heavy as you sink forward into the hip flexor on the right side. Again, breathe. Stay connected to your breath. And from here, you're going to bring your hands to either side of your foot. Wiggle your left foot forward a little bit, straighten the leg if it gets straight. Otherwise, hold where you feel your hamstring stretch. Extend your foot towards your face and extend your heart towards your foot. Breathe. Again, not pushing into the stretch. Don't strain. Maintain an internal state of openness and ease. Breathe a few more breaths right into that area at the back of the leg where you feel the stretch. And then slowly you're going to go back and forth. So you're going to inhale, kind of come into that low lunge position and exhale, straighten. Inhale. Again, creating mobility through your hip flexors, through the back of your leg. Good, inhaling and exhaling holding here and then coming back to your lunge hands come to the inside of the foot taking the stretch a little bit deeper take your time and then kind of pushing yourself back up and you're going to take this right foot forward again coming back to that low lunge position this is our best friend for today so again, you have a variation here. Option one is you just kind of bring this left hand back behind you and you bend this back leg as much as you can. If you can reach your foot, you're gonna pull the back leg in towards you, creating a stretch through the hamstring. It's a really intense stretch, so take your time. Breathe. If you can't reach your foot, another option is to use a towel around the foot where you pull very gently with your towel so you don't have to reach the foot. And you can have a longer towel than the one that I have. Breathe. Good. Release. Again, come up and switch sides. Let's do the quadriceps stretch on this side. So coming into our low lunge position, finding that strength through this front foot. Right hand underneath your nose. And again, option one. Find your ankle or your foot with your hand. And again, let this hip sink forward. A really intense stretch through the quadricep. Or use your towel if you use the towel on the other side. Breathe. Good, slowly release. And then coming back, we're gonna sit on the heels one more time. You're gonna turn your toes under and sit back on your feet, stretching the arches of the feet, the bottom of the feet, and take a few breaths. Kind of allowing the energy to circulate through your lower body, and that openness that you've just created. And then we're gonna come laying on our back, final sequence of our practice. So I'm gonna invite you to have a towel, or if you have a strap, or you can have a, a longer towel than this if you need it. So you're gonna put the towel on the top of your right foot and you're gonna lower down, take your time. Now it might be that you're here with a longer towel 
that's fine. Take your time moving into these stretches. The important thing also with yoga is to move into our practice with consistency. So you're gonna take this stretch to a place again that feels not strained and tight, that maintains a space of openness. This is a really good way to stretch your hamstrings without putting stress or strain on your lower back. Take maybe two more breaths here. Lengthening the breath. Then you're gonna take the towel into your right hand. You're gonna take your left arm out to the side and as low as it can go, you're gonna allow the right foot to come out to the side. Take your time. Again, be happy with wherever it is that you are. Try as much as you can to push down through this left hip. You'll feel the stretch in your inner thigh. Hello, inner thigh. And then micro bend your knee, come back up. Now you're gonna take the towel in your left hand and you're gonna let the leg go all the way to the floor. You're gonna feel this in your IT band all along the outside of your right leg and into your spine. And if you can, just gaze over your right shoulder. If this feels really intense for you, you can bend your knee slightly and take some of the pressure off of that outer right leg. Breathe, try to draw this right hip down and long away from your ribs. Oof. Good, slowly come back up and take this stretch one last time, maybe a little bit deeper for a breath, and then release the leg. Then I want you, as you release the leg, to feel the difference between your right leg and your left leg. You might feel a whole lot more spaciousness and openness and mobility through your right leg. So let's do the same thing on the left. You're gonna draw your knee in towards you, take the towel to the top of the left foot. Again, never lose contact with your breathing. So find your breath and breathe right into the area at the back of the leg where you feel tight or tense. Again, if you're back here with your towel, it's totally fine. Try as much as you can to keep your leg straight. Try not to bend it and be here, okay? One more breath. Towel to the left hand, arm to the right. Take the left leg to the side. And again, just feel that stretch through the inner thigh not needing to go any further than your body allows. Breathe. And slowly bend the knee, come back up to center, towel to the right hand, left arm to the side, and slowly let this left leg come all the way across your body, gazing over your left shoulder, drawing this left hip down, away from your ribs. It will intensify the stretch and find your breath. Breathe. Try to reverse the tendency to shut down or clench around where you feel pain. Instead, soften into that area and find your breath. And slowly come back to center. And again, one breath here taking the hamstring stretch as far as your body allows without straining, and then slowly lower that leg. Place the towel off to the side, and let yourself be here for a moment, just laying on the ground. Feeling kind of a circulation of openness, of energy, oxygen into your lower body, your legs. You can be here for as long as feels good. I hope this practice helps to increase your mobility, your flexibility, your openness, and hope you continue to enjoy your running. Namaste. Thanks for practicing. <laughs>